My name is Henrik Stisdal. I've been in wind power most of my life. 45 years ago, I built my first turbine, and 30 years ago, I was responsible for the design of the turbines for the world's first offshore wind farm. It had 11 450 kilowatt turbines and a total capacity of 5 megawatts. Since then, the industry has developed tremendously. Turbines are now typically 30 times larger than they were in the first project, and projects run into sizes hundreds or many hundreds times the first project. Costs have come down dramatically, and offshore wind is set to become the backbone of the future electricity supply. The International Energy Agency has calculated that this can be done without any economic burden on society. On the contrary, due to the job creation and the low cost of renewables, the green transition will actually bring economic benefit to society. We don't need new technologies, we have what we need, we just need to accelerate the implementation. But that acceleration is no small job, however. Uh, the International Energy Agency has calculated that we need to install 80,000 megawatts of offshore wind per year by 2030. We now have 35,000 megawatts after 30 years, so we need to do twice what we did in 30 years per year by 2030. The industry can actually cope with that. We have a long tradition of growth. The 35% growth rate this will take, we can deliver. But we also need society to assist us with good port facilities, with easy planning, with good infrastructure for turbine delivery and for a receipt of all the uh, power that we will deliver. We all know that we need to do this in order to avert the climate disaster. And therefore I ask governments, regulatory bodies, society in general, wind, are you in?